Right, I just want to demonstrate why I love class kick so much. The kids are working on a science assignment. One of the things I love is I can hide student names. It randomly moves them around. So where who was normally first is not there anymore. Um, I can see clearly who is on a slide. So I can see this person's on, this person's on, this person's over here, and this person isn't even on. And these two haven't even opened the assignment. So it's amazing what you can see. Um, what I've been able to do is while a student is working, I can give immediate feedback. So I can let them know when I come on here if they're doing something right. So this one, this student um, is, is one of my ISP kids. So what I did is I used colors to code where the answers are. So he just needs to go, and this is only on his assignment. His assignment has those things color coded. The other assignments, nobody else sees that. You do see the yellow that's highlighted. Well, what's cool about that is that while I'm teaching, so when I was teaching it originally, I highlighted that. So that as we read through it, I highlighted it so that they could know to um, for studying for the quiz. Plus, I went on and answered, did the first example. So that's why it's here. So when you look at all of the students' work, so I go to view work, I can see all of the students' work. Everybody has that done. And so it just, it makes it simpler for all, but only this person has the color coded to help with answering the questions. You'll see nobody else has that. The other thing I love is that I can give an assignment and then have pages I don't want them to go to. So that's why these stop signs are on. I just put them over top of the PDF. Um, and then once we're ready to go onto that, they know they can move on to it. Um, so, and then, yeah, it's just, it is just a lovely, a lovely program. So I can come here and go, okay, well, Daring Duck is on here. And I said, you know what, only get answers from the slides, put that on there for them. Yeah, see, this isn't from the slides, and this isn't from the slides. So I can say these are not. And I can even highlight on here and just tell them directly, or I can go on to the meet, and they're on right now. Um, just want to let you know, um, the person whose slide I'm on right now, I'm just, just going to show you these things that you wrote are not from the text. So you can't just randomly pick things, even though they may be true. You have to only access answers from the slide. So go back to slides one, two, three, and four to get your answers. Is that clear? So can you erase that right now while I'm I see you're here. I see you're on the slide. Can you erase those answers that you have? And then I'll erase what I've done. Okay, so I'm just erasing that. Come on, get rid of those answers. And I gave you grace on this one because even though that's not from the book, I agree with you that that is an example. I'm giving you grace on that one. Oh, so this person's not actually changing it while I'm talking. Hmm, why aren't you changing it, you guys? All right, so I hope that explains why I see the value. And that's only one tiny example, but yeah, it's like um, it's like virtually being in the classroom and looking over their shoulders while they're working. Um, and it is really, really valuable. So there you go.